thank you because your word that you have exalted above your name, Jesus. May that word, hasten that word today to perform it. That Rema word, the word that you're giving each and every one of us in this place. Even the empty seats, whoever will sit there, hasten your word today to perform it. Hasten your word today to perform it. As Jesus said, the scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. May we bear this testimony. May we behold this word in the flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you all the glory. Holy Spirit, this is your meeting. Have your way in Jesus' name. And welcome to church this morning. Good morning and praise the Lord. My name is Grace Ekirapa and I'm here to invite you to church this morning. We are located at the Northern Bypass. The name of the church is Wark Tabernacle. We are here and we are ready and we can't wait to see you. Church, this month has been, uh, you know, we've had the topic on building for legacy. The Bible says that you shall leave uh, uh, an inheritance for your children and your children's children. We have to invest our time. We have to invest our resources. Above all, we have to invest in wisdom. Today in the morning, Pastor Zeno preached and he spoke about wisdom and he said, when Solomon was asked by God, what can I give you? He said, above all, give me wisdom because wisdom will give you instruction. Wisdom will give you insight. Wisdom will give you and shed light on what you should do, when you should do and, and, and how you should do it. And this morning I pray, and it is my prayer for you as you're watching online and even as you're uh, visiting with us in church, that you may open up your heart and your mind and tell the Lord, God, give me wisdom. I want to leave a legacy for my children. I want to build kingdom wealth, wealth that will remain even for my children and their children. And so, Lord, let me not do it with my own understanding. Let me not do it the way I see other people do it. Let me do it because you have sent me and that your presence will make a difference in my business. Your presence will make a difference in the ministry that you sent me. Your presence and your word will be the light unto everything that I do. It shall lead me. It shall set me apart. And, Lord, your ways and your and your doings will what will set me apart for your glory in the name of Jesus. So, Welcome to church this morning. I can't wait to hear what the Lord has for us. And I believe that we're going to be blessed together. So if you're on your way, Rakisha, Kujenia Rakam Sichelewe. But if you're watching online, welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless you and see you in service.
praise God church hallelujah hallelujah Amen. Tumefurahia sana kuwatembelea. Eh, tulikuwa tunawamiss. Tukaamua tukuje tuwaone. Amen. Na tumefurahia tumefurahia sana now we are beginning our praise hatutawaacha hatutawaacha tutaenda pamoja amen so tunaomba tukasimame sisi sote amen hallelujah amen mungu abariki sana yes Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go. To na move kidogo.
reason why we press at south to Nawalika to Nawalika to Nawalika
See you. 
every circumstance, oh God. Because nothing is too hard for you. Father, when Solomon prayed, and when you asked him what he wanted, he said, God, give me wisdom. Give me a discerning heart. And today, Lord, we are asking for a discerning heart. A heart to leave a legacy, to know what to do to leave, to leave a legacy for our children and our children's children. Wisdom to make generational wealth. Wealth that will precede us, O oh God. Wealth that will sustain our generations. Wealth that will sustain the generations to come. Today we position ourselves to hear from you, Lord. As, we, as you hear, as you speak to us on building the legacy. Building for legacy. May our hearts be open, my minds be open to listen, to receive from you, Lord. Because only you gives the blueprint. Only you gives counsel. Only you gives insight, Lord. And with our hands above our heads, we thank you, Jesus. Come on, just give the Lord a shout. Exalt him in the place. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you're continuing to do and what you will do. We exalt you and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give the Lord a shout. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. Are you happy to be in the house of God this morning? Come on, turn to your neighbor and tell them, thank you for beating the weather. And for coming to church this morning. Amen. Please descend to the comfort of your seat. A round of applause for the worship team. Thank you so much. Hey, it's hot up here. It's <laughs> Hell is hotter. Okay. Do we have anybody visiting with us for the first time? Do we have any first time visitors in our midst? Please, we will not tell you to stand. Just show us by lifting up your hand. There you go. Appreciate them. Come on, give them an R welcome. Let them feel at home. Yes, that's more like it. Well done. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for visiting with us. I hope that you make this uh, your church. We love you already, and we can't wait to minister with you every Sunday. Amen. At the end of the service, somebody will be waiting on you to receive on you and to just, you know, tell you more about our church and to invite you with a cup of tea to join us. Amen. Amen. I want to say a big welcome to our online church, wherever you're watching us from, Karibu Sana. Thank you. Appreciate them. Thank you for tuning in. May the Lord minister to you where you are in Jesus' name. In our, in our church, we, we appreciate those who put in the work for us. Amen. Where we sit every Sunday, what happens every Sunday, the lights, everything, the sound. So today we want to appreciate the media. Please, a round of applause for media. They do such an incredible job. And for the protocol, a round of applause for the protocol. And finally, for the operations, a round of applause for them. Well done. Thank you. Keep doing the good job. So for now, the on screen.
everybody and praise Jesus. My name is Grace Ekirapa and I'm here to invite you for something really exciting that will be happening on the 21st of April right here at the Ruach Tabernacle from 2.30 p.m. all the way to 5 p.m. This is actually my daughter's birthday and God led me to write a book uh, for the children as a dedication to her and the book is entitled God is My Father. And one of the things that God told me when I was writing this book is it's not only going to be for the children but it's also going to be for the parents. Those who've taken up the role of parenting and especially you know fathers who are uh, or even mothers who've not had an experience or a relationship with their earthly uh, fathers and are struggling to even like um, embrace God as their father God said that he's going to heal those relationships God is going to heal all that brokenness that has come from those experiences and part of this book being for the children is also uh, as a ministration for them to actually understand and experience God as their father so I can't wait to see all of you I am so excited I I know it's going to be a great day. So please make your way after church. Uh, please remain behind. There'll be some activities for the children, so don't worry. Uh, your children won't be bored, but please remain behind. I can't wait to have this experience with you. The books will only be going for 1,500 shillings. And yeah, we'll get a personal signature from the author and pictures, and that will be exciting, right? So please, please remain behind on the 21st. I can't wait to experience God with you on this day. I love you, and God bless you. Bye. I put it to you, most of you are afraid and anxious because your eyes have not been opened. Mm. When you start to understand certain things, you begin to comprehend how you live your daily life. You begin to comprehend how to live your daily walk with God. Because if Elisha can speak and declare, tomorrow by this time there shall be food, and heaven reorganizes every agenda and comes into agreement with what Elisha has said, and Elisha is in agreement with what the throne is saying, it means seated at the right hand of Jesus Christ, seated together with Jesus, should bring us to a place where we have the same, if not more, authority than Elisha had. Jesus said he will not come to seek his own attention. You don't seek attention. You don't seek front row seats. You simply seek the will of God. At this level, you don't care if you get the microphone or don't get because the dominating power is the Holy Ghost. You behave like the Holy Spirit. I want you to understand all of us are a work in process, in progress. Paul himself says, I have not yet completed. I have not yet attained. Paul the apostle is saying, I've not achieved this thing. So when God elevates you, please don't be high-nosed about others. Let the grace that worked for you work for others. Be an example to everybody that you can come up here. And some of the tests will be through small promotions. That you became a clerk through a promotion of prayer. Sacrifice of prayer that people were making for you to get that promotion. And from the day you got that promotion, we've not seen you in church. Clerk, clerk, manager. We've not seen you in church. You become too busy. How can you get elevated to a position of global influence when you cannot make time for God as a manager?
One more time, appreciate the media team, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Just to emphasize, we have the marriage enrichment uh, movie night. Uh, it's for the couples that is happening on the 3rd of May uh, at the West Gate. The charges are 1700 for a couple and they start at 8.30. Do we have any couples in the house? Any couples in the house? Are you excited? That doesn't sound like... They're not excited? <laughs> or singles should come. <laughs> if you joke, the singles will come. <laughs> So they, they start uh, at 8.30 p.m. and this will be at the West Gate. So there was a pay bill that was running on the screen. But if you want more information, you can actually go to the info desk at the end of the service. Additionally, there is a marriage enrichment ministry WhatsApp group. Uh, I was told it's different. It's separate from the movie night. So if you, if you want any more information on the same, you pass by the info desk. You scan the code to join the group. It's a marriage enrichment ministry WhatsApp group. Amen. Amen. Now, are you in a cross point home fellowship near you? How many people are in a fellowship near them? A home fellowship near them? How many people don't know that there's a fellowship near them? It's okay not to know. Thank you. How many people don't know? That's why I'm here. So, please, if you would like more information on, you know, what home group is near you, there's an info desk at the back. At the end of the service, you join. I mean, go to them. They'll give you more information on the same. Amen. Home fellowships are amazing. It's, it's something everybody should be part of. Amen? Amen. Kingdom woman. Ay, 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 ay. Yani, if there's a woman who's sitting next to you and she's not shouting, tell her, please. Hey, we have waited. And finally, it's here. Amen? Tell your neighbor, it's here. If it's a lady, tell them we are going. Yes, this is going to be on the 4th of May. Um, at Pastor Moore, is it here? Here. This is where we're going to have it on the 4th of May. Every woman is invited. Amen? Your sister girls, your mom, your daughter, please come with them. It's going to be amazing. I'm sure Pastor Maureen has amazing things in store. Amen? Bas, you have had it. Amen? <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Pastor Maureen. Now, we are thrilled to announce that the Connect Cohort 2 is going to begin on the 5th of May, uh, right here at the Ruark Tabernacle from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. On the 5th of May, the physical class, but for the online class, which is a virtual class, it's going to be on the 7th of May from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Amen? Amen. So 5th is physical, 7th is the uh, virtual class. So join us as we explore vision, our mission, the core objectives, and to deepen your understanding on what Ruark Assemblies is all about. Amen? Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. I'd like to invite Pastor Zeno. Please let's appreciate grace. Come on. Amen. All right. Uh, we have some people who are guests in our midst this morning. And they carry God's grace upon their life. Last week, we were blessed by Fuller B. Samuel. This week, we have two of them, come, one from our neighbors here, Tanzania, and one from Nigeria. So we want to receive their ministry, okay? You know, I always tell you, if you clap for me like that, I won't go to the church again. Amen. So please, this morning, without wasting of time, Help me appreciate to start ministering to us immediately after him as he's ministering. Uh, the one from Nigeria will come in. So the one coming first is Derek Manton. Okay, can you appreciate Derek Manton? And after him will be Fortune Abel from Nigeria. Tunaweza tukafanya zaidi, tukafanya zaidi, tukafanya shangwe zaidi. Let's celebrate the Lord. Niombe msaada wa team, msaada tu wa team. Msaada tu wa team, msaada tu wa team. Hii imekuwa ni mara yangu ya kwanza kukanyaga mahala hapa na kwa kweli kipekee kabisa kabisa ni nipende kumshukuru baba. Mungu akubariki sana sana. I really really honor the grace that you have. I really 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 honor 
you have been blessing to me, but not only to me, to a lot of people back in my country. So it's uh, Hannah and uh, the whole church. Ebum jivige makofi kazi mnafanya ni kubwa. Mnafanya kazi kubwa eji. Wangapi wamekuja na vigelegele na shangwe kwenye nyumba ya buwana. Basi niombe tusimame, 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 tusimame. Kuna wakati, kuna wakati, mambo ya natuzonga sana. Mambo ya nakuwa mengi sana. And then we feel like we don't have that time. Au kama hatufai sana kwenda mbele za mungu na kumshukuru na kumsifu. Listen, that's not the voice of the Lord. That's not the voice of the Lord. Yesterday I was meditating something and then nikaja nikapata majibu and I was very shocking. Like what are the qualifications for a person to praise God? What what is the qualification? And then the Holy Spirit go for that and you know what? The qualification is breath. As long as you wake up and you pray, then you have reason to praise God. You have a reason to praise God. As long as you wake up and then you enjoying this air, you have a reason to praise God. Somebody said a brother Lord. Is Nikelele Zani? Mepigana Vitagani, Is Nikelele Zani? Quani Mepigana Vitagani, Is Nikelele Zani? Quani Mepigana Vitagani. Ali, 
Chomokaje. Ziko zile vita ambazo tulikuwa hatu tunafikiria ni namna gani tunashinda lakini yuko anayepambana yuko anayepambana yuko anayepigana kwenye afya zetu yuko anayepambana kwenye uchumi wetu yuko anayepambana kwenye habari ya ndoa zetu yuko anayepambana kwa habari ya uchumi yupo anayepambana yupo anayepambana haijalishi leo situation umeamka nayo vipi listen situation situation Zina badilika Situation at changes Because we serve the one who cannot change Wana me Tupigania Kwenye interview yako Wana me tupigania tu Ame kupa kushi Kwenye obi ashara yako Just know Wana me kupigania We kill this declaration Ame tupa kushi Ame tupa when you do a Bwana, Bwana me began. I'm a chupakushida. When you abali a watoto wako na uzao, Bwana me kupigani yo. I'm a chupakushida.
legacy in this place and you know your praise and worship just now as for that solidify what we are building for Jesus I need you to lift up your shout in this place and while you shout clap your hands and give God your shout of victory I was tempted to continue but I'm a trained child. And so duty behoves of me that I do the needful. That is why it is with the very kind of double honor prescribed by Paul of Tarsus in 1 Timothy 5.17 that I bring greeting to our shepherd in this house. Thank you so much, Daddy, for all you do for the proliferation of the kingdom. I know you know, but just in case people don't know, the impact of God's word upon your life transcends beyond Kenya. We feel it. We know it. We thank you for accepting not to be called by God beyond this fair, but for being that man that God is using across the length and breadth of the nations. As we collaborate with you as your children for the proliferation of the kingdom of God in building for legacy, we promise that we follow you as you follow Christ. I bring you greeting from my father in Lagos, Pastor Paul. Adeolu Adefaras, in of House on the Rock. And we love you, sir. And we honor you. Everyone who loved the gift of daddy. And you are not ashamed to shout. Is that all you shout? Is that all you worship? Yay! When, when I think upon your goodness. And your faithfulness each day. Sing with me. I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy to receive the kind of love that you gave. We're well, the grateful people in this house. But I'm grateful for your mercy. Rabbi Shaka. And I'm grateful for your grace And because of how you've poured out yourself I have come to sing the song out in praise Himela Everybody Himela My God, you are here Sing verse 2 with me if you don't mind Who am I? Who am I to sing? Let the grateful people sing it Who am I to worship you? Am I to worship you? It's your blood that makes the difference. It's your blood that makes the difference in me. And made a way to enter into your door. I could not come near. I could not come near your presence. I could never sing your song. No. This is the place where we rejoice with the. 
God. That's your sacrifice. Son. Yeah. Jesus revealed in your life. Jesus revealed. 
TV. Everybody says, see your glory. Your glory is here. The glory is here. The glory is here. yourself in our midst today making yourself known to us we give you the praise and we give you the glory somebody celebrate Jesus in this place I didn't say celebrate me I didn't say celebrate man I said celebrate Jesus our Lord and Savior hallelujah Amen. Amen. I said amen. amen. Please take your seat for a minute. Uh, we're going to have, this is our team from our South. They don't have a name yet. I feel like giving them one. <laughs> have they been a blessing to us today? Oh, my, mine. In the morning, they almost stopped me from preaching. I had, to, I had to break loose and control myself. They've been a blessing. We celebrate you. Thank you for being a blessing to us today. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, the, the last minister or minister to us from Nigeria is called Fortune Abel. That's his name. Now, listen. Listen. Let me tell you this one. It's a top secret. Don't say it anywhere. The church I attended when I was young, primary school and secondary school, that was the church he also grew up in. It's in a place, if I call the name, it sounds like tongues. In a place called Ugele in Delta State, Nigeria. So I started hearing about him because when I left, I left before he came. And there were some people who were uh, ministering together there. With, so they started telling me about Fortunable, Fortunable. I met him once, he couldn't even remember. But God has brought somebody from my village Please help me celebrate the ministry of Fortunable and Derek. Come on, help me celebrate their ministry this morning. All right. We'll take our statement of belief. Are you ready for the word? So they will come, the uh, arrows out to minister, and our reverend will come to speak the word. Please stand up on your feet as we make a statement of belief. Lift your Bibles up if you have one. Not a mulikamwezi. Let's say it together with energy, one to go. I am a winner and not a loser. I am a victor and not a victim. I have changed my mind and my attitude to reflect what God says about me. My faith is built on God's word. I can do all that God says I can do. Nothing is impossible from this moment on. For I am a new breed, a new kind, a remnant and I am after my purpose. God bless you. Take your seat. Good morning. Good morning, church. Ah, come on. Good morning. Ah, fantastic. My name is June. This is the Our South Worship Team, as you have been told. Oh, thank you. You can clap. Thank you. Um, we first of all want to say thank you so much. We are honored to be here. We want to thank you. We want to thank our pastors, Pastor Pete and Rev Jackie. I know they will be watching, yeah. So thank you so much. And we want to honor, honor, and thank um, Reverend Kula, our father. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity uh, to be at South where growth happens. And clearly, growth has happened. And today, we just came back home to say thank you so, so much. And um, yeah, we're going to do a song, and I just want to read from Psalms 3, 1, 2, 3. Lord, every day I have more enemies. Many people fight me. Many people say about me, God will not save him. But Lord, you are a shield over me. You are my glory, 
and you have lifted up my head. Ah, come on, give the Lord a shout. This song is just about God lifting us up. And the person who's going to sing this song knows this testimony like the back of, you know, her head. And she's called Gloria, so give it up for Gloria. Give it up for the worship team.
I'm so proud of this amazing team and what God has done with them. Thank you. Thank you, our South, and thank you for being a blessing to us. Amen. We are so blessed as a people. I don't think you've discovered how blessed we are yet. One day it'll dawn on you. One day it'll dawn on you. I know sometimes you look at the tent and think we are not blessed. But I've seen the end from the beginning. And I know that we are building and building and building and God is blessing us. Are you blessed today? I am just so, so touched by that ministry we've received. Thank you, Pastor Solomon, for that connection. Can you increase me a little bit, Solomon? Thank you for that connection. I'm so grateful for it. Thank you so much. And you blessed us. You blessed us so much. I think we have Rema Feast Tanzania coming up. Um, and we'll talk more about it. And I'm joining you in Nigeria this uh, end of May. Um, I'm with Pastor Podju this end of May. So I'll be back in Nigeria. Amen. And this weekend I'm off to Uganda. I'm going to be with, going to be with my brother, Apostle Lubega. We've got a conference together, so I'm excited that God is doing an amazing work. Are you seeing something coming together? It's exciting. And Rema Feast is here. And... Can you hear me at the back? Rema Feast is here. End of, so, so Solomon, I think it's the monitors. If I can hear myself, I'd appreciate it. Um, Rema Feast is here. End of August. So I'm looking forward. Um, and I got confirmation from my friends, both Apostle Lubega, Apostle Selman. They're all coming. And I'm so excited. I want us to go to the word of God, but before I do that, can we read, can we read the word and then I can have you take your seats because I also have another guest I want to just let you all know about. Amen. I'm in Jeremiah chapter 18. Let me appreciate all my pastors from all assemblies and all the amazing work that people do. I am completely, completely beholden to you for your amazing work and just the things that you all do to make it possible to do ministry. You really bless my life and I am just so touched by the work you do. Did we change our monitors? This is not how it used to sound. Did we change? Did we change? Did we change? These are not the older ones. You changed something. Okay. All right. As long as you can hear me, that's all that matters. I just can't hear myself. Huh? I use the mic. All right. I'm just trying to be stylish, but. <laughs> Let me just, that's it. I can hear myself now, so. So Jeremiah 18, verse 3 to 4. Jeremiah 18, verse 3 to 4. Then I went down. Let's read it together. Then I went down to the potter's house. And there he was, making something at the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again into another vessel as it seemed good to the potter to make. Father, may the words I shared this morning bring life, bring sustenance, bring understanding, bring wisdom to the meek. Let it be life to somebody this morning that came for life. I give you glory, I give you honor, for you are so, so good. You are so good to us. 
Thank you, Father, for all that you do for us. I give you glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Please have your seats. I'm here today with another beautiful brother of mine from Nigeria. Just keep you stay there. That was good. And he's a, an amazing minister, also from Nigeria. I think we need a direct flight between Rock and Lagos. Oh, I sense the parents of Kill and Motuko. Please come to the information desk at the back. Uh, if you could do that, you will bless our Sunday school ministry. Hallelujah. So I want to welcome him to just say hello. As the Lord will lead him, I've yielded about seven or eight minutes of my speaking time to him because he's such an amazing minister. And as everybody has ministered today, this is how it's going to be in heaven. It'll just be beautiful ministry because in heaven we won't need to preach because we'll be standing face to face. <laughs> Hallelujah. So please help me with Jesus' love. He's here with his lovely wife. Help me appreciate Apostle Guam all the way from Nigeria to come and say hello. If the band can come back, that would be nice. Celebrate a great gift to Kenya and the nations. Wow. What a blessed honor and a privilege for a man of God to trust you at his pulpit on a day like this. Sir, thank you very much. I don't take this for granted. And I thank God for this privilege. Once again, celebrate Kenya. And give a big one out there for Africa. For what God is doing in Africa. Celebrate the next legends, the builders of the ruins of Kenya. Celebrate the heroes that are rising from this place. Oh, come on, celebrate the daughters of Kenya. Celebrate the young men of Kenya. Listen, there is a sound this morning. God is working something strange. We don't need to see it. We don't need to understand. We don't even need to begin to mm, God is working hallelujah man of God praise the Lord one thing the Lord told me is that Kenya is taking back the nation I came prophetically to spy the land to pray for the land and I saw structures of speak prophetically that Ishmael is taking The Lord said he's going to break that power of the economy of Ishmael. He said the sons and the daughters of Sarah will rise in this hour with a wisdom that is beyond the natural to take over the land. And I heard the Lord saying the word kingdom technocrats will begin to rise from this house. Kings and priests that will take over the mountains of influence of Kenya will begin to rise in this hour. And so I stretch my hand to agree with you right there. Wherever you are, open your mouth in one minute. Just say, thank you, Father, for building me, for restoring me, for preparing me for such a time. God is working. God is building. God is restoring my life in an Arabo Shakataba. Yeah. God is doing something new in this place. God is working something strange in this place. God is doing something silent in Kenya. God is restoring fallen walls in Kenya. Oh, God is doing 
something new in my life God is announcing new seasons in this place Oh yeah generation in Kenya Oh God is aligning something broken in this house Oh God is restoring sounds of revival in this house Say oh yeah Oh yeah Oh yeah Say oh yeah God is healing someone wounded in this house God is healing broken marriages in this house Whoa! God is restoring the sound of someone lost in this house Whoa, yeah! God is restoring the mantle of kings and priests in this house Say, oh yeah! with a new understanding and revelation of the working of the Lord I want to hear their sound praying let me hear your voice up breathe in me work in me keep on working keep on building a righteous community kingdom technocrats reform us restore us the legends of Kenya release this morning the oil 
the water, the sound of the birth of the new Kenya. Oh, let me hear your voice this morning. Lungradaba, Sahita, the sound of the coming out of the church, the sound of the coming out of Rachel. Rachel, Rachel, Rachel means the female ship who will give birth to children generations and generations and generations can I hear the sound of mothers the sound of wailing mothers the sound of a new beginning cause God is working something strange in this house <laughs> God is announcing something beautiful coming out of Kenya he won't stop, he won't stop till we have the victory. He won't stop, he won't stop until we have the victory. Oh, he won't stop, oh, he won't stop until we have the victory. Ruach, he won't stop, he won't stop, he won't stop. There's no stopping, God won't stop it. No no resistance. We are moving for a new generation. We are rising. We are rising. We are rising. Oh yeah, say oh yeah. Something suddenly, 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 yeah. Suddenly, come on. Repeat it. Yeah. Something is happening. Suddenly, can you rise? Suddenly, the glory is falling. Suddenly, suddenly. This exalted altar of the Lord. E baradosh kena manta le baradosh kia. Le baradosh kena manta le boko son toro do bosh kia. E baradosh kena manta le bosh kira bayara. Se tere do bosh kalia. Hey, Father, we have that you ask your way. Have your way in the name of Jesus. You are the one who has orchestrated us together under the canopy of your name. We have come humbled, Lord, before you. And so we ask that you have your way. This is Ruach Tabernacle. We surrender to be the tabernacle of the Holy Spirit. And we ask that wherever you ask us to go, like the wind, we will go. 
We ask that, Lord, you will use us for your glory. Like it was read this morning, Lord, you will shape us to the vessel that you would use us in this season to show forth your glory like never before. Let the wind of the Lord, let the wind of the Lord, let the wind of Jehovah from the four corners of the earth blow in this place this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Apostle, come. Oh, yeah. I hear this song in the spirit. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God on any mortal man. You are not a God in me. Of anything we can do by your hand that's just the way it is not a God created by you and as we say it. you are not a God dependent you are not a God We declare, we say, Everybody's hand lifted up. Let's acknowledge He is God alone. Oh, you are.
please have your seats. I want to give you a testimony. There's a son who is here today. I understand he's here as a testimony. He was paralyzed completely. Kelvin is here. He was paralyzed. Are you here, Kelvin? Kelvin, stand up. In the name of Jesus. He was paralyzed. Something happened to him. And he was paralyzed. But the Spirit of the Lord is raising up a standard over his life. He's able to stand now. I want to speak over you, fool. Listen, I want to speak over you, fool restoration. God is not a man that he should lie. In his death, his burial, his resurrection, and his ascension, we release the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ over your body and declare that by his stripes, you are fully healed. Whatever the family has lost in this season, we call on the grace of Yahweh to cause the enemy to remove seven times what he took from your family. And I speak full restoration in Jesus' name. Can we give God glory for life? that time then I, I just don't know what's been happening these last few Sundays I mean I have so many messages I'm like God I, I need to preach and he's like you go preach them to yourself I need to do something with my people Hi. my God I don't know what to do some microphones, not yours. You all hold on to yours. Do you have other microphones? Just come up here. Come, come. You'll get microphones. Don't worry. You're so beautiful. I really have messages for you. I promise You know, Apostle Gorm, if you don't mind joining me here, he, he flows in the prophetic ministry and worship. So I'm just going to let us flow because sometimes God sends us these gifts for our purposes. Is that okay? You have me. You have me here. So let's take advantage of this atmosphere. Such a sweet, sweet atmosphere. I'm telling you. You know, if you're, if you're disciplined in the things of God, you know when the Holy Spirit has taken over a meeting. So the problem is if, if you insist on how you want to go, he lets you. But he won't do what he wants to do. So beautiful. What I'm hearing right now is that word beautiful. So beautiful. That's the song. That's the song in the spirit. Most beautiful. Can I, can I have the prayer warriors intercessors help me because as the spirit of the Lord is moving in the room I need us to just be ready I don't want people to get hurt
to ask the Lord open my eyes this morning open my spirit eyes that I may see that I may see things beholden manifesting in the earth in this hour open my eyes on the altar Ruach the mysteries of your breath let it breathe on me let it breathe in my spirit man and my spirit man oh God open my eyes some of you cry open my ears that I may hear new instructions 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 oh yes open my eyes that I may see my ears to hear oh some of you cry open my womb my spirit womb that I may groan that I may groan that I may groan and call upon your name spirit womb of the church open forth spirit womb of Kenya open forth of homes and families and children and wives and husbands open forth oh we command gates to open gates of the spirit open forth tanina makata sahala bakata bade siyalale 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 Sumanaya Rabadai, Sumanaya, 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 cry out, cry out, we release the spirit of the Lord, the sound of the breathing spirit on the altar, in the land of the spirit, cry out. sit down when I got the note about Kelvin the word was paralyzed the word was paralyzed what I hear in the spirit right now is I'm dealing with every spiritual paralysis anything that has hindered your getting up anything that has hindered your going I'm dealing with it right now in the spiritual realm says the spirit of the Lord so let's deal with every paralysis in your spirit inability to pray inability to worship inability to penetrate certain places certain echelons certain spheres in the spirit the spirit of the lord is releasing grace right now for you to have the grace that is on christ jesus spiritual paralysis you're broken right now in the name of jesus bible says for god is spirit they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth as you operate in that dimension in that realm in the spirit thank you God for your presence everything that causes you not to pray is being broken right now whatever causes you not to be able to break certain things in your life the grace that is on Christ Jesus is in you now we break every chain we break every habit 
we break everything that causes you to have retardation every spiritual step you take you take 20 steps back the spirit of the lord says i'm breaking that right now i'm breaking spiritual paralysis right now receive strength to forge forward receive strength to forge forward That, that's that's breaking the spirit of fear listen to me I want to give a very foolish example I say foolish because it compares man to man so forgive me for it when these brothers came here they said that you're known in Tanzania you're known in Nigeria God's grace and what you're doing in this land is known but there were times, years past, I wanted to give up. I wanted to give up because the true form of the future had not been made clear to me. Paul says, I have not yet attained. Not yet. So it means this work is a progressive work. Truth is revela revelational, is, is, is progressive, which means you don't yet know the end of yourself. But there's some actions you can take today that the fame that is supposed to go ahead of you does not happen because the words coming to your ears right now are words of a Sanballat and Tobias who have decided you cannot progress from here. So when I deal with this spiritual paralysis, what the Spirit of the Lord is saying is that the thing that is stopping you from achieving what God has in store for you, including the cross, for the joy that was set before him today, I announce to you there's a joy set before you that where you are is not the end of your story so your spiritual paralysis will be defined by will be destroyed by faith that paralysis will be destroyed by faith by you opening your eyes to see where you're going not where you are so i announce an opening of eyes today in the spirit that you can see where you're going We break it in the name of Jesus. I dare you for one minute. For everything that is hindering you right now. Surrounding you. I can see. I'm seeing something for certain people right now. I'm seeing like a cubicle. Like you're going around that cubicle. There's no distance. One step. That's it. You can't seem to ever make progress. You're just going round in that circle. And it has become so frustrating. As we minister right now, the Spirit of the Lord is going to move in this place and break that paralysis in the name of Jesus. Have you ever been in a place where you know this is not where I'm supposed to be? Have you ever been there? Listen, as much as I can preach, the Spirit of the Lord has invaded this meeting and says, I want to break people from that cubicle. I want to break you out of that cubicle. I've seen it so many times. People who are supposed to be so far in life getting stuck. People with amazing potential. People with amazing grace getting stuck because of definitions by men. Today I give you a definition by God. Let God be God and every man be a liar. The words I speak, they are spirit and they are life. We declare over your life right now, that is not the end of your story. Today in the name of Jesus, I begin to release and command progress. I begin to release and command progress. I begin to release and command progress over your life. That stagnation for 38 years. Jesus is coming directly where you are. And he's saying, do you want to be made whole? In the name of Jesus, arise. Pick up your bed and walk. I said arise. That thing that, you, that is carrying you is not supposed to be carrying you. You are supposed to move from that place to where God has called you. We make a miracle walk, promise keeper. Let the Spirit Mind of the Lord just begin to minister. My God, hey. that is who you are. We declare, we say, we make a miracle walk, promise keep. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Oh. 
believing this is not where I'm supposed to be that you know there's better than this I'm not calling you to the front just lift your hand where you are let the grace of God begin to touch you there let the fire of the Holy Ghost let the power of the Holy Ghost let it happen right now let it break you from that place that's the power of the Holy Ghost can I have intercessors go round, please? I need people not to get hurt. Here, para, let the power, let the power of the Holy Ghost. Hey, help, help, help! Some people over there. Anointing, come on. Hey, let the power say. Let the power of the Holy Ghost flow. Let it fall, let it fall. Let it fall on somebody right now. Papa Paradaba, Eco Paradaba Kosata, Kepredo Setepa, Eco Paradaba, Eparadaba Kosetepa. Anointing. Move in this place, Holy Spirit. Woo! Woo! Anybody under the anointing, bring them, bring them, bring them. Listen, listen. Anybody under the anointing, bring them here. I want to minister to them. Let the Holy Spirit just minister to them. Listen, this is what God wants to deal with today. Limitations. Limitations. You're a vessel designed in the image of Christ. Every limitation in your life today breaks in the name of Jesus. Listen to the instruction. Please listen. Uh -uh. Don't come to the altar. I said anybody under the anointing. If they are under, I want you to bring them. I'll call an altar call later. But for now, I need, I need help. Help them, help them. Fear is dispelled. Spirit lead. Spirit lead me where my trust is filled up on. Bring 
them, bring them. Take me deep. Take me deep. Keep it going. Let me explain limitation. 12 years on a journey. Every money spent on physicians, spent on people, conversations, networks, nothing is working. Today I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, you've tried everybody but me. And I want to minister to those people right now. I've seen men limited, men of great potential, men of great ability limited not just by things people have said but their current situation in the spirit as i was just in prayer right now i saw i saw pieces of stone just breaking that means limitations are being broken off the thing that held you back no longer has power the grave lost its power that limitation is losing its power we stand on the anointing and the grace of our lord jesus christ that caused the grave to lose its power and now you're ascended and seated together with Christ in heavenly places. The thing that has held you back is losing its power right now. Let the Spirit of the Lord move all over this place and bring somebody to a place of recognition that the power of God is here. Spirit, lead me. It's happening right now. It's happening right now, right now. People are getting delivered. Papaya Dabakosha. Let it happen. Take me deep, take me deep, in the presence of One more time. Rush for you, oh God. 
There has to be a desire mm. to understand certain battles are only won in the place of filling. Empty people being filled again. There's a filling taking place right now that you've never experienced before. There's a filling taking place. Fill me again. It's happening. It's happening here. Men are about to be filled. Men, men that have tried things that are not working. God is saying, I'm getting ready to fill you up again now. There's a refilling happening right now. Some of you are going to feel it and sense it very quickly. It's going to come on you. I'm talking about men that have put their hand on things and things have not worked. And the frustration has reached a height that you've never had before. The Spirit of the Lord will have you know I'm filling you up right now, my brother. Que produce. Fill me up till I am the Lord. I want to run over. Fill me up till I I hear in my heart of hearts as you were releasing the word about Kenya. This whole week I've been hearing words about Kenya. Yesterday, the day before. And God wants to do a fresh thing in this nation. The men in here, listen to me carefully. God's spirit is about to pick men. Gideon's. For assignments beyond your wildest understanding. <sighs> to do that assignment without a feeling is folly. Because the enemy is going to come to ascended people with absolute destructive force. What will fight the spirit? What will fight the spirit of hell is not you, it's the spirit of God coming on filled man brothers lift up your hands sing that song fill me up brothers only till I am to flow I want to run over let the spirit of God touch men in this place like never before fill me up <laughs> something is happening till I am to flow Help them, help them. I want to run over. I want to run over. Men, fill me up. Holy Ghost filled Holy Ghost filled men. I want to run over. I want to run over. Fill me up. Till I at the count of five, the Spirit of God is going to begin to fill men. One, two, three, four, five. Receive it. Sing it, man. I want to run over and over and over and over. Hey, Papa Rada Bakosa, say the Barada. The army is rising. The army of men is rising. The army of men is rising. An army of men is rising. Some of you are getting slain in your homes. Receive. In filling of the Holy Spirit. 
Spiritual paralysis is broken over your life. some men coming under an anointing I, I need them here I need those men here God wants to release something on those men right now every frustration in the marketplace there's a there's a breaking I saw I saw cement flying all over I saw cubicles just crushing poof <laughs> Woo. there's there's men here if you have the strength you can walk to me but God wants to do something over your life right now the limitation is breaking off of your life it's breaking off of your life right now, my brother. It's okay. Let him come. Let him come. Let me come. Let him come. Hey, Papa, Paradabakus. There's a breaking out, breaking out, breaking out, breaking out. It's coming now. Come with a baby. Hey, Papa, Papa. Shake it, Papa, Papa. Come on, brothers. Hey, shut up. Apostle is going to speak over you, man. I see, I see an angel entering your father's house. I see an angel entering your father's house. And a lot of you are products of mistakes. The life you are here is not your own fault. It's a fault of those that have lived before you. Fault of the generation that has lived before you. And while the man of God called you forth, I saw that angel with a sword entering your roots, visiting foundations and changing mysteries that have fought you. Mysteries that have fought you. Mysteries that have made you disadvantaged are being confronted now. In the name of Jesus, can you open your mouth and receive deliverance into the roots of your father's house? If you can, call your father's name, call your father's name, and call your father's name. Let the spirit of deliverance come on the altar, on the altar with fire to begin to purge those arrows that have hindered you. We've come to. Hey. Come on, Kevin. Whew. 
Let him take his seat. Let him sit. Come to draw from the throne. We've come to draw. We've come to draw. And the We've come to draw from your own Lord. We've come to draw. strength as the apostle has prayed over you I see strength 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 you didn't catch what apostle prayed for some things have been uprooted from the roots of your father's house we now surround you with the oil of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Draw from that well. Draw from that well. Draw, draw, draw. Service is over. Draw, draw from that well. Just for another two minutes. We've come to you. spirit what I saw the Lord do this is what I saw Yahweh do I saw keys 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 to cages this is what my son came to tell me but I had seen keys keys to cages some of you have been in a prison of four walls I don't know why today the Lord was dealing with one thing and one thing only Cages, you've been caged, been unable to go anywhere, do anything. 
I saw he told me the keys are not even for the cage because the cage is supernaturally destroyed. I saw an explosion and cages cages were destroyed. And he saw I saw him put keys in your hands. As men and women that have received revelation and understanding and anointing. He said with these keys tell them doors will be open. Tell them other doors will be open, multiple doors in their lives. So I want to announce today, in this year, places you've never gone, the cage has been broken. Things you were unable to do, the cage has been broken. God says, I've broken every chain. Whatever they had used to tie you to that place, to tie you to that address, to tie you to that definition of destiny. Today I have destroyed the yoke. I've destroyed it, says the Spirit of the Lord. He says, be set free today. In the name of Jesus, be set free today. In the name of Yahweh, be set free today. He says, I have broken the chains. I have broken the chain that held you back from where you're supposed to be. And I'm going to give you recovery speed. The years that you've lost, I'm going to give you the speed to be where you're supposed to be. You're not just going to, you're not just going to go at any regular pace. I'm going to give you the speed that you need to recover the things that I had put in your hands before you were formed in your mother's womb. I had arrested you. I had arrested you for a purpose. You are going to soar like an eagle to catch up with where you're supposed to be in the name of Jesus. To God be the glory. In Jesus' name we have worshipped. And the church of Jesus Christ shouted, Amen. Kopako Jesus is Lord. Let them, if they, if they can't rise, leave them. Leave them when they're ready to rise. You will pick them. Thank you, ministers of God. I know you're ministering today. Is it time to be where you're supposed to be? <sighs> Kelvin, I speak full restoration of your body. In the name of Jesus, as you provoked what God was going to do in this entire service today, I speak over you. The blood of Jesus, strength to your feet. <sighs> strength to your feet in the name of Jesus. Strength to your feet all to the top of your head. Let the healing grace of Jesus, we shall shout and praise when you come back here. And we're celebrating what God is doing in your life because you will have no crutches when you come back. In the name of Jesus. <sighs> Restorative power. In the name of Jesus. Let's give. Please have your seats if you can. Hi. I need to stop coming to this church. I can't seem to preach here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your presence. We don't take it for granted. Are you ready to give? I want you to give as the champion you are, as the ashes wait on you. Just go ahead and give as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Look what the Lord has done. See what 
see what the Lord has done.
Shata Predos. We have the victory. Let me hear you shout hallelujah. Hey, Papaya Doskepa. I want you to say these words. Mighty warrior, take your place. Jesus, rule and reign. You got it? Sing. May that be your prayer this week. Let him rule and reign in his place. Hey, come on. Mighty warrior, say, mighty warrior, take your in my life. This is my prayer for you, Jesus. Rule and reign. I can't hear you say it. Mighty warrior, take your place. Your week is blessed. Whatever you put your hands to do is blessed. You're blessed coming in, you're blessed going out, you're blessed in the city, you're blessed in the field. Go in God's power, go in God's anointing, go in God's grace. See you next Sunday in Jesus' name. Please say hi to your neighbor as you go out. Know their name.